The highlight on the musical calendar was arguably the Awid One Everyone Fest. Ten homegrown artists and five African musical heavyweights drew a crowd of over 14,000 to Dolam Kadutura, filling up the Sam Neoma Stadium almost to capacity. The Winduk Jazz Festival saw top Namibian acts Lisa Ellis and Alamoto making headlines at this year's event. South African jazz sensation Zonke and a cappella trio The Swell also gave a stellar performance at the jazz festival. Swakopmund hosted the 8th Namibian Annual Music Awards for the third time since the inception of the awards. Sally Boss Madame and Kalux won the much coveted Best Female and Best Male Artist of the Year awards respectively, a first for both artists. Overisha Group One Blood scooped the best song of the year with their hit song Warakata. Martin Moroki, formerly known as The Dog, now rebranded as King TD, also filled up Yunam Stadium on 28 September this year. King TD said in moving forward, his focus will be on the business side of the music industry. He has since launched a shoe collection. The Assembly U Lifestyle and Fashion Awards celebrated its second birthday this year. Ndabewashali Shipwanale, the managing editor of the magazine, said the awards honored 20 individuals at this year's event. The Namibian Broadcasting Corporation also launched Touched FM on the 1st of December. The radio station employs about 10 talented young and dynamic Namibians under the management of veteran radio host Mario Locke. Selma Kamanya represented Namibia at the 67th Miss Universe pageant in Thailand. Her national costume designed by Namibian designer Kupas Muller was among the top five at the competition. On a sad note, the Namibian industry saw the passing of rising Kwaito star Aluendo Moses, stage name Jomoliso. Aluendo was 36 at the time of his demise. Reporting for NBC News, Emil Sebeb, Ventu. Ventu fana fana, ventu kufala kanya.